I'm really disappointed in the fact that my brother, E-40 Fonzarelli, was ejected from the game. Here's what happened. He was there enjoying the game, sitting on the front row like a tycoon, like he always does. A lady a couple of rows behind him was heckling him the entire game. He finally turns around and responds to her heckling him. Security comes over to E-40. You can clearly see him put his arm on the security guard's shoulder, whisper in his ear, and let him know that he was being heckled, and he responded. I guess that didn't matter because he was the person that got disciplined and ejected. You see another gentleman come over who works for the Warriors security who clearly knows E-40 because he's front row at every game and he wants to defuse the situation and he kindly walks him off because obviously the players know and love him like the entire league and everybody does because that's the kind of energy that he's carried. And I'm somebody that knows because I've known him for over 30 years. He don't even move like that. He moves with integrity. And so that's why Andre Iguodala walked off with him. That's why Gary Payton II, someone that he's known since he was a shorty and it's like family to him, was checking on him to try to make sure he was good while the game was going on. And then the Kings, who I'm not claiming are a racist organization, they've been at the forefront of teams as it relates to matters, in particular, social and politically for black people. So I'm not saying that they're a racist organization. What I am saying is that these security officers in particular totally fumbled this scenario and mishandled it and overreacted. And then the Kings compounded by putting out a statement and basically saying he was standing up excessively. Clearly, I know that there's an etiquette to that as somebody that played in the league and it frequently goes to games, but they never gave them a warning for that. And so I think they mishandled it all the way around. And I anticipate in three, two, one, the Sacramento Kings should be issuing an apology to E-40, Earl Stevens, for escorting him from a game and not disciplining the other fan that was heckling him and making him leave a game where he knows how to comport himself. And it was a very exciting game that the Sacramento Kings ended up winning in game one of this year's playoffs.